Uh, welcome to uh, Glenn Woodward's four framing video. Uh, Glenn made a comment the other day. He didn't understand how I can uh, uh, not use room labels because room labels are very specific. And and I said, well, there are some room labels I use, but not many of them. But I use select ones because some some of the select ones, room labels, some of the select room labels, uh, really define things a lot easier than I could do it. And I'm talking about like open to below space. That's a very special special place and a deck and whatever. But here, here's I, I'm, I built this house. It's just a H. Uh, let's take a quick look at it. it. That's all it is. Okay, not much to it. And you can see I got two rooms there. And now I, I really want this this floor assembly right here to be uh, one nineteen uh, high. I'm, I'm dropping down four inches. It's gonna be one seventeen. So I come over to here and I drop this down four inches, and that's gonna be seven, right? Yeah, it's 117. <coughs> Sorry. So the, the, these rooms don't have any names. These rooms do not have any names. I haven't given them any names yet. They're just uns I think they're just unspecified. And that's sort of typically how I work a lot of times, unless I want something very special. Now look how this thing frames. Two unspecified rooms. Look at how the, the, the wall framing frames on the lower room. On the lower room, the studs don't frame to the top level. They frame at the bottom level. And I'll exaggerate it one more time. You structure and change the structure to four. Get another four inches out of here, three. All right. So at the bottom of the floor joists are all in line. Oh, actually, they're not. Oh, yeah, they are, because that's that's, that's, those are the double top plates. So they're all in line, and notice that the that the walls frame to the lowest level. Now I'm going to change this to a bedroom and see if that changes anything. I, I don't think it will, but I'm just going to give it a name, bedroom. Okay. No change. Suppose I change this to a a balcony. That's what I want to do. Watch this balcony. No change. Now suppose I change this to a deck. Now watch what happened. Yeah, that's okay. I don't want to see that message again. There. The balcony will frame to the lower level again. And I didn't like that. I don't want the balcony to frame to the lower level. You got what I'm saying? I don't want to frame to a lower level. So I had to change it to a deck. But unfortunately, now with a deck, I get this decking on here. And I don't want decking. I want a solid floor. And control U, I think uh, structure, planks and joists. I mean, that, that's lumber. It's treated. I get that. But this, this is actually decking. So how do I, if I wanted to, I could probably put another layer on here of plywood and zero this out or delete. Well, let's try it. Insert. Uh, change this to point, point, I don't know, how thick is plywood? Point seven five, I guess? I don't know. And this is going to be pl uh, plywood, uh, OSB. Okay, well, I, I, we know what's going to happen. It's going to have plywood on top of it. Oh, no, it doesn't. Look at this. See, the top layer is still. If it's a deck, no matter what, I, I'm going to have planking. You got what I'm saying? So a, a deck is a, a very, very special room, room. And I, I get that. I mean, I, I do. Yeah, in fact, look, the plywood is now the decking because it's called the deck. So you get that deck. And, and I, I, I didn't want that. What I want, this is what, so what do I do? You, I'm going to change it back to a bedroom. Uh, change it to a bedroom, B-E-D. Let's see what happens. Oh, where's my plywood? You, structure. Change this to uh, four. I don't know what happened. It, 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 the uh, 
the room ele- oh not, and I don't even have oh maybe I never had plywood okay not, I don't have plywood but you'll notice uh, oh god let me, let me get this back to where it should be you uh, 121 and that's down to four so eight inches from there is 113 cancel so this should be at 113 you 113 two one two one one three Okay, so, and and that's a bedroom. And notice it's framing to the lower level again. Well, I don't want that. I want it framed to the upper level, and I want the other floor system to be lower than that, okay? I'm using iJoyce, I guess. So what do I do? You, now I have to name it, name it a porch, P-O-R, and now let's see what happens. <laughs> there it is. See, I had to, I had to call that a porch. And even though it's on a porch, I mean, it might be a bedroom, but I had to call it a porch, so the wall would frame up to the upper level. You got that? Let me try something else here. I'm gonna make this out of a deck. I guess I'm going to make this out of it. No, I'm not going to make that. Uh, I'm going to do something else. Delete. I'm going to make the. I'm going to make a bump, bump, bump. And now I want to do. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Hang on a second. Uh, I'll just do this. We're gonna try it again. I, 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 I think, I think I'm missing something, but I'm not sure what yet. Okay, so there we are. I mean, it's, it's, you can see what I did. Nothing special, right? So now all I do is go you, and I think I'm gonna go through the same uh, scenario again. Change this to uh, get eight inches off of there, so it should be three, I guess. Framing to the lower level. A U. Call it a. Uh, balcony still still frames to the lower level and I, I, who wants that who wants these walls to be framed to the lower level I don't a am I missing something here let's look right down into here yeah see see how that thing's framed back into there the walls framed at the lower level and that's not what I want so I call it a uh, if I call it a bedroom, it's still going to frame to the lower level. Still frame to the lower, lower level. And I get this, this, this ceiling stuff and stuff. You know, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. I just go over to here, structure, and get rid of the ceiling. It's easier for me. I, I, I don't want a ceiling on it. You. Now watch what happens here. I'm defaulting. I'm going to default the absolute ceiling elevation because right now it's, uh, if I default, when I first built this, notice how these plates are lower than those plates? That's because the, the rough ceiling was defaulted for the room itself. But you can't have the ceiling and the rough ceiling, the absolute elevation of the ceiling and the room height, relative heights, uh, d uh, both be defaulted because I've changed the floor. So now if I default this ceiling assembly, watch, see the plates go up. But here's the point. You, I have to change this to a porch, P-O-R. And now it frames, now the walls frame to the upper level, the upper platform and not the lower platform. And so that is, that is one of the times I really need to use a porch, even though this might be a bedroom. You know, and I, I bet, uh, I bet if I go downstairs uh, and I W, I uh, mean, uh, put a wall right in here, and uh, I don't even know what kind of foundation this is. I mean, you. Yeah, I mean, oh, and oh, because I haven't built the foundation, all this other stuff. But, but the point is, I could call this a garage. 
and it would and it would take on the characteristics of a garage. And the question is, can, can I not call it a garage and still get the garage characteristics? I bet I could. If I had my foundation built and blah blah blah, I could actually turn that into a garage or looking looking like a garage, even though it's not called a garage. If this is an open if if uh, if I create an open to below space, open to below spaces are very specific because uh, they don't build a floor in there, and some really interesting things happen um, let's try this let's just see if I can do this I want to make okay I want to make oh sorry what would I do eight Okay, I want to make this an open to below space, okay? Open to below. And it's very specific. It takes the floor out. Now the question is, can I turn this into an open to below without calling it an open to below? Well, I think I can. Structure, floor structure. Delete. Delete. Okay, now, but here's what happens. You... The floor is at 121, control C. <coughs> you. Ah. I, can't, I, I have to make that, I have to change that back to one. I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what, what changes here, but uh, shift G. Let's take a look at it real quick and see if we can figure it out. Uh, bump, bump, bump. Yeah. Okay. Oh, one thing I didn't do with this room, I didn't get rid of my finish. Delete, delete. All right, there you go. Oh, uh, and now I have to now I have to come over here to this room right here, and I have to get rid of the molding. So I'm I'm actually I'm actually turning it into a um, an open to below space, but I'm doing it my way instead of calling it open to below. And I know open to below is a lot quicker. Believe me, I I, I get that. But this is what's going to be interesting. What's interesting is my open to below space and their open to below space have different have different uh, floor finishes, floor elevations. One twenty one three quarters. See that? And this one's one nineteen. I don't know how it. I, I don't know if that's important or not. Interesting. F6. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Ah, oh, that's okay. All right. That's the problem with the way I did it. I guess I was thinking I could do it. And I almost did it. The only thing I couldn't do, and if I look on the interior, uh, Chip J is, in fact, I think I've run into this before. Uh, yeah, see, I don't have a ceiling. Uh, in fact, why don't I have a ceiling? Why don't I see any ceilings? Aren't that interesting? Why don't I have any ceilings? Because I have ceilings turned off? C-E-I? No. I don't know why. Why don't I have a ceiling in this room? But look, oh no! Oh, the ceiling's gone. Let's let's turn on the framing. So this might be a, a, a I I might not be able to do what I really thought I could do, and that is, oh yeah, I can. I don't know why I don't have a ceiling in there. You, oh. I got rid of the, for whatever reason, I got rid of the ceiling finish. Come over to here, you, put in a ceiling finish. Now let's see if it's, I, I still get it. Ah, there you go. There you go. I got a ceiling. I have a ceiling in, that open to below space. I mean, I can convert the open to below space exactly like their open to below space with this exception. 
the downstairs gets a ceiling over it. So that will never, ever work, I don't think. Well, that's interesting. I don't even know why I don't, why, I, oh, am I on the second floor? No, I'm on the first floor. That's open to blow, right? Let's put a window right there. I'm on the first floor now, right? Holy cow. Oh yeah, yeah, see I, I'm, I'm, this is my room that I defined as open to below and I'm looking at the ceiling right there. But I'm not looking at the ceiling here, so I, had to, I really had to call that open to below, I think. But what's weird is why I don't see my uh, Shift J. Edit uh, default settings for. Uh, 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 oh. I can't change my floor level? Of course I can somehow. I, I know I can. I, I, I do it all the time. Huh. Oh, i, I got to figure this out. Hold on. I, I'm so dumb. I got a floor. I got a floor on. I got a wall right down here that's that's blocking my view. You nitwit. Jesus Christ. Ship J. Here it is. Yeah. See, there's the opening there, but I don't get an opening there because I didn't call it open to below. So with open to below, I can I can do all that other fancy stuff, but I don't get rid of that drywall. So what started this whole thing off was Glenn said, "Well, I can't believe you don't use any uh, uh, room labels." Well, that's not entirely true. I do use some specific room labels, and and uh, uh, I use open to blow. I use deck. I use porch for obvious reasons. <coughs> and I guess I use garage. When I remember. To, uh, anyway, <coughs> but but bedrooms and living rooms and kitchens and laundry rooms and hallways and closets—they're all essentially the same. They all frame about the same thing. But those are very very particular. And you know what's so interesting with this is um, I ran into a double stack set of stairs where I won't get into it, but I was getting drywall across there, and I just had to fake it. So there's something funny going on. Anyway, that's the end of uh, uh, Glenn Woodward's uh, floor framing videos.